All right, Monica, thank you very much. It is time for weather. And Matt, your weather word today is epic. Got it, Jay. Appreciate that. Uh, just a little side note for you. This literally just happened. Uh, I'm in the basement, and the cats have their <laughs> they have their cat litter on the other side of the basement. Someone just got a little epic over on the other side over there, Jay. This is a rough working oh, environment. I'm <laughs> just going to say. Better uh, you than me, Matt. The cat litter. <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway, if we get an air purifier down here, it'd be great. Uh, anyway, we'll fit that into the forecast for sure. sure. Uh, Jay, I want to start by talking about the snow uh, that we've had so far this season. We all know we've had really two big hits of snow so far. And so in terms of average, we are right at average in Cleveland right now. As of today, you can see Akron a little bit above average snowfall on the year. Erie is just such a good tell of our lake effect. We average about 50 inches in Erie. Ditto that around Ashtabula as well. And we haven't hit it. We haven't really had any of these in-between small bursts of snow. We really got it all in one false swoop. And you can see here as we go through the much of the U.S., we're actually dealing with a lot of snow cover, 44%. U.S. is snow covered right now. That's the most on the state in the last four years. Look down towards the south. This is fresh as of this morning. A lot of this melting, but they got anywhere from four to six, even a couple eight inch totals. Areas of Texas back towards Mississippi. They have more snow on the ground than we and you look at the lakes, yeah, there's some snow piles left over here in northeast Ohio, but there's not a lot of lake effect snow on the ground right now. Why do I show that? Because I think that's all going to change as we go about a week from now with a pattern change that's going to take place. But until then, we've got stubborn clouds. Boy, these aren't really filtering out as the models were showing yesterday. We do have a couple holes out towards the west. We are bringing drier air in here slowly, but there's not a big sun angle to get rid of this this time of year. That system down to the south that produced all the snow still trailing back towards areas of Atlanta up towards the Carolinas with rain a lot of that snow is going to wind down that will not impact impact us overnight tonight our midweek weather will have a couple systems off to the north kind of spraying the clouds in here so we're not going to go full-on sunshine although we will have a very quiet pattern we will see some sun peaks as we go through the rest of the week but we've been highlighting this big old system out towards the west. This little low right here is our pattern changer, a little troublemaker, going to head here, develop an area low pressure, come across the country, and that's really going to flip our pattern around. Your National Design Mart Hour by Hour forecast overnight tonight. We're quiet. You see the clouds still hanging on. Temperatures, they've been chilly. We've got wind chills in the teens right now. They'll stay in the teens overnight tonight. If we do get some clearing, you're going to drop a little bit quicker as we go into the daytime tomorrow. Still some clouds off to the north. Another system will swing by. That may kick off some flurries in our northern Sierra counties. Otherwise, we see the clouds really coming back in after some peaks of sun tomorrow afternoon. And then Wednesday, that's when things start to change. That system develops off towards the west. We'll get a nice push of some drier air, perhaps some sunshine. But look at temperatures on Wednesday, up into the 40s. It'll be much, much nicer than where we've been, right? Union Home Mortgage seven-day forecast. Here's our warm-up with some sunshine midweek. And then here's our pattern changer. Rain to snow and then snow showers in the forecast. Nothing particularly heavy with that, but definitely a big change over where we've been over the last couple of days. Oh, and I forgot the weather no. word, which is what an epic <laughs> weather word you gave me, Jay. Ah, man. That's okay. You got so it in. Focused. I was just questioning. Yeah. I, I hadn't heard it, and I wondered if you had used it. But you got it in just under the wire. By the way, crack a window. Yep. We'll see you at 5.30. Betsy? I will. I, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Poor Matt.